Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from Roberts Productions. So, we've made this lady look a little bit better in Photoshop by making her skinnier. I actually said that I made her anorexic. Um, yeah, kind of. But uh, we have a problem in this image. What is the problem? Well, she's skinny and on her side and she has like a huge fat shadow next to her um yeah so I don't know if it was a fat guy taking the picture I mean we could blame it on that uh, yeah we could say that it was a fat guy taking the picture he he cast a huge shadow on the wall yeah or you know we could just completely remove this shadow now uh, the best process of removing the shadow I found is simply by using the clone in clone stamp tool. Yeah, clone stamp tool. Um, but first, we have to make a selection of the shadow. So in order to do that, we can come over here to the magic wand tool, click in the shadow, hold down shift, click in there, and uh, you know that's a pretty good selection. Yeah. Um, in some cases that might not work so you can use the lasso tool make a rough selection then go to select color range pick out your color fuzziness and click OK and then it'll make your selection as well probably confused you right now but uh, you know for this image we're gonna just use the magic wand tool because it's magical! <laughs> Alright, now once we have the selection of the shadow, we're going to come over here to the clone stamp tool. And we're gonna, I'm going to set the brush, yeah, it's a pretty good size, 64 pixels, and the hardness at 100. Uh, mode, normal, opacity 100, flow 100, align, current layer, blah blah blah. Who uses blah blah blah? I'm not going to stop saying blah blah blah. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fix up this area right here. Now we can completely remove the shadow or we could kind of leave, sh shrink the shadow a little bit to her body style. Hmm. Yeah. Good. Okay. And so, but we're just going to completely remove the shadow for right now. So I'm going to hold down alt. I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to select around there, that area. And I'm going to color it in. And what the clone stamp tool does is it just basically copies everything from over here to over here. Because it's clone stamping, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, and we're trying we're starting to get a little bit of her dress. So we're gonna select a little bit farther away. Maybe up here. Down here. And uh, make those selections. Do that clone stamp. Crank that clone stamp tool. Yeah. No, no, that that wouldn't work out. Okay, and so that's pretty much all you have to do to clone stamp some things in Photoshop. And now. I'm actually going to bring that into a new layer by hitting Control J. And we still need to fix up this area right here. It looks totally fake. Doesn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to come over here back to the clone stamp tool. Alt. Click. Boom. And you know, kind of blend it in. Blend it in. Boom. Boom. Oh. And you know, you could do probably a much better job at this. showing you a real quick method <clears throat> we can decrease the size of the brush oops <laughs> fill in this layer right here and you know looks pretty good but uh, we also want to create a shadow maybe of her little shadow so what we're gonna do is we're going to control click on this layer which we're gonna rename to shadow I guess yeah 
Control click on that thumbnail. So we have our selection again. And uh, we're gonna make sure our background layer is selected. We're gonna we're gonna lasso her ass out of here to create a shadow, you know. Try to get it pretty close to this area. And then we're going to control J that to bring that in its own layer. Then we're gonna bring this above the shadow layer and we're gonna rename this to shadow. Shadow real? I don't know. You know, I don't know. Okay, so shadow, I'm gonna bring the shadow out here. Like that. As far as far as I think it should go, I can bring down the opacity. Yeah, that's 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 decent. And then I'm gonna come over here to the shadow, select a thumbnail, uh, Control Shift I, delete, delete. No, make sure you got your shadow real. Select it, delete. Control D. So now you have your shadow right there, like all suckish looking. We're gonna change the blending mode for this to color burn. No, 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 darken. We're gonna bring down the opacity pretty far, just like that. Just like that. It was pretty, pretty good. Okay, so we fixed up that shadow, and we could fix up the shadow down here, but um, you know, I, I, I don't. Do I really need to do every exact detail for this tutorial? Hmm. And we could always, you know, kind of fix it up, make the seams look better. I mean, I can see right here that the bricks don't match up. That's all suckish looking. Yeah. So, you know, kind of fix it up. As good as you can. If you know of any other way to do this, please feel free to contact me using the YouTube's messaging system. Uh, I do check all my messages, unlike other people. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, message me if you know a better way to do this, and I'll throw the tutorial out there. Fast. If you're on YouTube, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope this helped. I'm Robert from Robert's Productions. And until next time, take care.